Hello guys, Lewis here. Welcome to a huge video. Pfeiffer's FIFA 20 Reels Mod 3.1 Reveal. Today, I'll be revealing everything 3.1 has to offer, which is a ton. If I wanted, I could have called it 4.0. It's that big. If you don't know what my Reels Mod is, make sure to check out the trailer for 3.0, the previous version, in the description below. Uh, just like two, three minutes goes over the main features. Little trailer, recommend you watch that if you've not already. Anyways, me and the team were super happy with 3.0, but we knew it wasn't perfect, so we've worked hard these past few months, and we've created Created something even better. I think this is the best FIFA 20 can be. Anyways, uh, let's get into it. In 3.1, we really wanted to revamp the national team experience, which has been lacking for years. We did this in two parts. The first was adding 48 new national teams. Yes, 48, 48. There are already 49 in default FIFA, so now that makes 97 total. Uh, the, the added teams range from soccer giants like Croatia, Japan, and Ukraine to the minnows of national teams like San Marino or Faroe Islands. These teams come with beautiful kits and banners, while also keeping it authentic with real squads, even for teams without enough or none players in default FIFA. Uh, so we added a bunch of players for countries like, say, Qatar. Now, when adding 48 new teams, there are obviously some limits, so we wanted to be as transparent as possible about them. Sadly, all these teams, minus Croatia and Japan, only have a home and uh, goalkeeper kit, so no way. However, we have added a mod for each team individually that replaces their home kit with the away that can be toggled on or off whenever you want. The good news is, however, uh, these teams don't replace other career mode teams, uh, they replace FIFA Ultimate teams, so uh, your club management experience won't be affected. The second part of our promise to revamp the national team experience is the full Euros experience. We have completely revamped the Euros to do something never done in FIFA 20 before, to be able to play the full Euros within career mode, so not tournament mode. This includes a full qualification tournament with all the teams, then the uh, qualification playoff, then the actual Euro tournament group stages, round of 16, quarters, semi-finals, and then obviously the final. Complete with the real trophy, name, teams, players, stadiums, and everything in between. Pretty much every national team kit has been updated to the latest version as well, ensuring your matches are the most realistic as possible, ranging from kickoff of the first qualifier to the last kick of the final. Now again, there are some limits. Sadly, this mod does remove the leasing.com trophy as well as the Asian and North American World Cup qualifiers, which is why we made it as an optional add-on mod. So if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. Again, huge credit to Dapple for this, who did an insane amount of work making this happen uh, database-wise. Make sure to follow him on Twitter, link in the description. You have heard about the changes we've made to the national team section of career mode, but what about the club management experience too? Don't worry, we've got you covered with tons of changes, and the biggest is that we've added the missing Champions and Europa League teams to make the European tournaments feel like they should. We've added all 12 missing teams, which are Oleksandria, Slovan Bratislava, Astania, Ludgorets, Partizan, Apoel, Karabag, Dudelange, Ferenc Zenit, Red Star Belgrade, and Krasnodar. 
These teams come with beautifully crafted kits and banners, but we've also added their real players to make the teams come alive. These changes really improve playing in these cups, but it also perfects general career mode with added players and teams vastly improving transfers. Of course, there are a few limits. Sadly, all teams minus Zenit, Red Star, Apoel only have a home and a goalkeeper kit. Otherwise though, it's a great addition. It wasn't easy to expand on the huge number of faces in 3.0, but we've done it. To start, we've added around 150 new faces for all sorts of players. We've added the faces of big potential players like Hans Wolf, Maxence Cacre, Diever Caicedo, Caprin Diata, Matias Palacios, Alessio Pragno, Mohamed Salsu, Bubu Cacre Sumare, Carlos Vinicius, the heavily requested players like Alexi Miranchuk, Oli Watkins, Daniel Podence, Toko Akambi, Peru No Lascoen, Saeed Ben Rahma, Costas Timikas, Eduard Mendy, and tons of other players from many different countries, teams, and leagues. We've also took it upon ourselves to improve many of the existing faces in the mod, with new face improvements to Gabriel from Lille slash Arsenal, Patrick Catrone, Reguilion, Diego Carlos, Esposito, Barella, Soboslai, Messi, Enzufati, Cuisance, Militao, Haaland, Tangai Kuasi, Manlas, Nkuku, Paqueta, Puig, Greenwood, and tons of others. We also wanted to expand our selection of manager faces with many new high quality faces for managers like Rudy Garcia, Scott Parker, Jose Bordelas, Nico Kovac, Manuel Pellegrini, Sergio Conasiao, Pochettino, and a few others. We also added many manager faces for national teams, such as Latko Dalek of Croatia. Finally, we expanded our selection of face updates with 50 plus new face updates including Perisic, Dean Henderson, Pulisic, Sterling, Tolisso, Fakir, Boateng, Ronaldo, Eric Dyer, Griezmann, Neymar, Rashford, Mount, Grealish, Benzema, Conte, Mertens, Giroud, Schick, De Bruyne, Pogba, Dembele, Busquets, Shaw, Maguire, Coutinho, Doherty, Alex Tellez, Havertz, Ings, Corona, Carrer, Navas, Theo Hernandez, Zia, and tons of others. We've also added a few new tattoos such as Griezmann, Rashford, and Greenwood. We've fixed many of the bugs from 3.0 as well, we've lowered the strictness on negotiations so the AI is more flexible, we've also made big changes to uh, transfers so now more loans get accepted, more goalkeeper transfers happen, teams now stock up on positions less, and teams now sign many more younger players. Those are just a few of the adjustments we've made to transfers. We've also fixed the bug where sometimes going into the transfer hub would result in a weird visual gl glitch, as well as a few squad foul issues with Newcastle, uh, Brazilian League, etc, etc. A new big addition to the mod is real trophies. There are now real in-game and UI trophies for the Euro, Copa Italia, Copa del Rey, Club World Cup, Copa America, Super Copa Italia, and Serie B, among others. We've also fixed a few banners that had some offensive flags and symbols in them, and we've improved a lot of the regen faces to match the style of the others and to look more realistic. Another big change is that we've added 14 new, so now 15 total optional faces that you can toggle on and off throughout your career however you want. We've also added many new background mods and fantasy kits, and we've brought back the color menu themes um, to really bring your career to life. Finally, we have added so, so many new kits to the 2021 kits add-on mods, such as Chelsea's away, Lille's away, Manchester City's goalkeeper, etc, etc, etc.